Hello and welcome to another video, and yes, you saw the title of this video and you're already saying he's making another Halo Infinite video. Um, <laughs> look, it's the game that I don't really want to talk about anymore, but they keep giving me reasons to talk about it. And you guys know I'm very passionate about Halo on the channel, it's one of my favorite franchises of all time. And to say that Halo Infinite has been nothing short of disastrous is a understatement. So today, and the reason I'm, the whole reason I'm making this video is not even simply just because of Halo Infinite. I'm also going to talk about the TV show in here briefly as well towards the end of the video. But this is some interesting news regarding Halo Infinite and its development and its continued development because they are basically going to hand over a lot of the development for the future updates of this game to certain affinity. These are the people that uh, have had, they've been a support team for Halo for many, many years. And uh, honestly, at this point, anybody taking over Halo is, is better than 343 continuing their development with this game, right? Like, they, they basically made a live service game devoid of the live service. And I'm not going to go over and beat the horse to death here any further with why this is happening. More or less point out that this is a very interesting development because it means there could be a real future for Halo Infinite. Um, with that being said, Season 2 of this game is right around the corner. Uh, supposedly May 3rd, although I really feel like it's going to get delayed as we get closer. Uh, but the content they're talking about having in this update is, again very lacking you have to throw all those things out there and look at this and once again and this is a question i've been asking for a while but i'm gonna ask it for real here in this video is why is 343 still developing halo games what like why do we still continue to entrust this long-standing the most important franchise to microsoft uh as a first party developer is halo why do we continue to trust it to this arbitrary team that they created when Bungie jumped ship and went and made Destiny. Like, especially with the wealth of developers that Microsoft now own, there are so many other teams out there that could take the reins of Halo and take Halo in an exciting new direction rather than see 343 continue to fail. It's, it's like this, in the real world, if you keep failing at something, does your boss go, oh, well, that's okay, better luck next time. Maybe the first time, but not three times, you know, in. I mean, let's look at it this way. Like, I like Halo 4. I will fully admit that. I think Halo 4 had a fantastic campaign. Halo 5 was a disaster. But let's also not forget, and the one game that I think people like to forget in the conversation when it comes to 343 is Halo Master Chief Collection. That was kind of their first big, at the time, next-gen project was getting all of the original four Halo games onto one disc, into one package, so that you could play these games, including a anniversary treatment for Halo 2, which at the time, that would have been the 10 year anniversary. We're actually pretty close to the 20th anniversary of Halo 2 at this point, but that's besides the point. So they had a massive undertaking to shove those games together and get them out, and the launch of Halo Master Chief Collection was a disaster. I can't stress that enough with like desyncing issues over live, people couldn't play the multiplayer. I mean, think about that. What's the thing that draws people into Halo? It's the multiplayer component. And when that's not working, there's a huge problem with your game. Now, it's not all doom and gloom for Halo Master Chief Collection, but it took years and years for 343 to fix that game and make it what it is today. And that's the point I'm trying to make here. It took a long time for 343 to do this with Halo Master Chief Collection. And in between that, they put out Halo 5, another game that is regarded very, very poorly by Halo fans for its very lackluster campaign and having a interesting but not great multiplayer component. I thought the multiplayer there at least was better than Infinite because it tried some new things, but I really like Big Team Battle and they really let that down in, in Halo 5. So now, putting all those things aside, you have Halo Infinite, which if you guys don't know or haven't like looked into it, Halo Infinite didn't start development six, seven years ago as the project we see it today. Halo Infinite really started its development cycle around 2018 because between the end of 2015 to like mid-2018, 343 had their heads down making an actual sequel to Halo 5 because they thought the game was regarded really well and it wasn't until they stuck their heads up out of the sand and looked around and said, 
oh wait, people didn't like that game? <laughs> they realized we got to do something different with Halo. 343 really put Halo Infinite, I'd say that's more of a three year development cycle because they quote unquote made a new engine, which really isn't a new engine, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, and then they made their game. And keep in mind, this was a game they were going to launch with the console November of 2020. They put out that footage, everybody shit all over that footage, and Microsoft had to take a step back and say, Halo's not ready to launch. And they delayed it a full year, over a year, before it actually, you know, inevitably came out last fall. So, <laughs> this is your number one franchise as a brand, and the people behind it right now are failing time and time again. It's time to kick them off it. And I wonder if this certain affinity news is actually what's happening here is that they're first going to start this whole idea and whole project as a oh hey uh we're gonna we're gonna just test you out see how it goes clearly these people are making a battle royale mode like it's been long rumored that a battle royale mode is coming to halo infinite it makes sense that's where the money is for free to play games and it actually probably would work pretty well with halo but putting that aside this is their real test because I really do honestly think that if certain affinity can deliver something that people like with a Halo Infinite, um, they're going to just take over the development of this game and 343 3 might be done. I don't know. Like they might shutter that studio and move on or they might repurpose that studio for something else or maybe let them go make their own game. I don't know, but at least that's my hope. Like, I don't want to see anybody obviously lose their job or anything, but I don't want to see 343 continue to make Halo games either when they clearly are very bad at it. I mean, Halo as a franchise, it's not even just the games that's suffering. It is this stupid TV show. So I had done a recap of the first episode of my channel just because I wanted to talk about the TV show. As of this recording, there have been four episodes. I've only seen episodes two and three now. I have not watched the most recent episode that just dropped today at the time of this recording, but I've also heard it's bad, but I actually kind of hate this TV show, and I think it's doing Halo even more of an injustice than Halo Infinite did. You have a Master Chief who is out of his armor more than he's in it. They're really trying to humanize this character. I don't understand the reason why, other than this is not a show designed for fans of Halo. This is a show designed for, I guess, generic sci-fi lover lovers or something. I don't know, but uh, I hate how they've characterized him, but they just, for every one thing they do right, they do 10 or 20 things wrong. You know, they've screwed up how Cortana is. They've, you know, they have characters that just don't make sense. They have plot lines that just don't make sense because they decided, oh, rather than, you know, 20 years of books and lore we can pull from, we're going to, you know, use our own timeline and make up our own story. That was a mistake. And it's only to Halo more of an injustice. So, uh, but anyways, guys, I wanted to put a quick video out and just talk about what do you think about CERN Infinity seemingly taking over development of Halo Infinite? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Uh, are you going to return to Halo Infinite when Season 2 launches? I would love to know. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, until next time.